What's going on, Jerome's? So, yes, your Minnesota Fine Vikings, unfortunately, have lost two games in a row. They're now 6-6, six and six, picking up sticks, and the two losses have just been in mind-numbing, soul-crushing fashion. But the sun still came up today. Stupid sun. Uh, but we're on to the next one. And, yes, uh, even though the Vikings have lost two in a row, uh, still firmly in playoff position, and as of right Meow. Uh, here's how things look. The Vikings currently uh, the seventh seed in, in pretty firm position. Uh, they have a half game lead over the Greasy Grime and Green Bay Packers at five and six. Also, the Vikings have a one up in the head to head. Uh, the Rams and the Saints are also both uh, five and six. But of course, the Vikings do have the head to head against the Saints as well. Uh, and the Seahawks are at six and five, and they're they're cut. They're bleeding. They're, they're in very rough shape. Uh, Cowboys are eight and three. Whatever. Whatever, but uh, Lions also eight and three. And it's really unfortunate that the Vikings couldn't. <sighs> yeah, the, the the Packers tripping up the Lions was the break that the Vikings needed, but the Vikings couldn't seal it, uh, get it done at home, uh, despite a, a great effort from the Flores defense. But it is what it is. So uh, currently, th this is where the Vikings sit, and yeah, the remaining schedules are going to be interesting. Where the Vikings uh, on by, and then you're at the Raiders, you're at Cincy, uh, then two uh, games against Detroit out of the last three, and also that home game against the Packers could be uh, noteworthy if the Packers continue to be not garbage, which I'm not betting on. Mm. Lions are at the Saints. Not a gimme, but also not great. And then they're at Chicago, where, I mean, the Bears are actually playing some decent football right now, as evidenced by them almost beating the Lions. Uh, but then they remember they're the Bears, and then the Vikings just sort of giving that game away, whatever. Uh, the, the I mean, their, their game against the Broncos, suddenly that looks a little bit tough. Of course, two out of three against the Vikings, and then they're at Dallas. So, I mean, the Lions, currently 8-3, and three, I mean, could you see... Could you see them going three and three in this spot? Like, could they get to eleven and six? Could they even be ten and seven? Uh, and for the Vikings, I mean, could could you possibly see them? Well, eight and six, and then say they split the Lions, so that's ten and seven. Uh, and if they take care of things against the Packers, then it comes down to tiebreakers. But either way, that's looking way far ahead. Uh, but just take care of your business, and everything else will take care of itself. Uh, and for the cheat, and for the the Packers, uh, they're hosting the Chiefs whatever uh they're at the giants where tommy devito tommy cutlets can you get it done one time would be great uh against tampa sure at carolina at the vikings and hosting the bears so whatever seattle seattle's got a rough so seattle's currently six and five they could quickly be uh six and eight so they're at dallas mm. they're at san francisco mm. they're hosting the eagles who are fraudulent at 10 and one but whatever uh, and then tennessee pittsburgh arizona the rams hosting the browns sure at baltimore ugh. uh hosting the commies and the saints and then they're at the giants again tommy cutlets one time uh then at san francisco so i mean the vikings even though yes things kind of suck and the vikings should and could be eight and four uh and pr completely putting a hold on one of these playoff spots and are really putting some heat on the lions but it didn't happen and you know, shoulda, woulda, coulda. You can dwell on the past or it can focus on the present and look towards the future. That's what the Vikings should do. And as right now, according to the upshot at the New York Times, the Vikings are 48% to make the playoffs, uh, but they certainly uh, can help themselves. Uh, it's say they go on the road in Vegas, beat the Raiders, uh, and then they beat the Bengals, uh, who are down Joe Burrow. Uh, suddenly that percentage jumps up from 48% uh, all the way up to 80 79 80 percent sure uh and then uh, if they take care of business again two games at home against your divisional foes now yes i understand the irony that the vikings just gave a home division game away against the bears it sort of is what it is but uh vikings beat the lions the vikings beat the packers and then all of a sudden your time is gonna come all right so over 99 percent. i mean how can the vikings screw that up mm. uh, but even if they lose the lions say they split with the lions which it's perfectly fine. Uh, still controlling their own destiny to a large degree. Uh, but, uh, again, living in the past really sucks. But, I mean, I mean, I mean nah. mm. so frustrating. But the Vikings need to internalize that. The coaching staff needs to completely look at themselves in the mirror. Other than Flores, you're perfect. I love you, baby. Uh, but, 
Yeah, Kevin O'Connell needs to get back on the horse. They need to decide what they're going to do at quarterback. My vote would be Jaron Hall at this point. And the players, I mean, yeah, a, a bye week to heal up the body it would be great. Spend some time with the family. Maybe get out of town. Maybe enjoy Cabo for a couple of days. Yes, go do all of that. But you got to be ready for that stretch run, man. And 6-6 six and six at the bye is unacceptable. But it is what it is. Make the best out of a bad situation. 11-6. Uh, uh, and six. Yeah, eleven and six incoming. Again, it's so hard doing that seventeen game ad. Sixteen was perfect. Either way, it's fine, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, take a look at the NFC playoff picture. Vikings still firmly in the playoff places, and they're in control. And I say that with a sigh. Mm. Uh, anyways, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But next time, Skull Production Value. <laughs>